Penny Bowl Design, and uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about some products I got in the mail. Uh, they're water filters. Uh, I got, uh, this isn't all of them, there's actually some more equipment to actually do a, a drip thing, but these are the three main ones. I got these from uh, Giles Butler from Drink Safe Systems uh, in the United Kingdom. Anyway, uh, he contacted me a while back via email and asked me if I'd be interested in uh, looking some of these over. I, I only can assume that he wanted me to sell them or at least promote them. Okay, so he sent them to me and I looked them over. Uh, now let's get down to the, the uh, nitty gritty and, the, and the, the real meat of the whole thing. The bigger ones work on a system where you put a chemical in here and let it set for a few minutes I guess and then this is the filter here which as near as I can tell isn't cleanable like a regular MSI ceramic filter that's neither here nor there it only uh, filters down to 2 micron now uh, beaver fever as we call it up here in New England uh, they tell you that you have to filter down to 0 0.2 microns which is one tenth of 2 microns uh, now he he contacted me again and said that the, basically the reason why I wasn't comfortable with these filters was that uh, I was ignorant to how they work, or <laughs> just ignorant. And he wouldn't be the first person to have that view of me. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty here and give you my two cents on the whole thing. First off, either one of these, any three of these. This is my life right here. If these don't work and I'm 20 miles from nowhere and I get dysentery and get dehydrated, I'm going to die. So I take water filters very, very seriously. That having been said, it's kind of like uh, airplane technology. Airplanes pretty straightforward rigs. If they don't want something to come off, they make it out of the best metal they can get their hands on. They use the best bolts they possibly can get, and then they safety wire them. And you don't see many parts falling off airplanes, unlike automobiles. Uh, because if a part falls off, you die. Well, that's the way these work. If this doesn't work, I die. So I'm, I'm pretty serious about it. Now, what this gentleman needs to understand, and, and it's my opinion that these haven't sold well. Maybe I'm all wrong on that. I live back here in the Maine woods. I don't, I don't see a lot of the world, but I don't think these are selling well. And if they're not, I think I can give you some insight why. People don't usually take their lives into their own hands. If they're going to use something like this and if it doesn't work, it's going to kill them or, or cause them serious injury or, or a lot of really pain and grief. They usually want to know how it works so if they can understand it. Like a ceramic filter. The holes in it are so small that nothing can get through it. That I can understand. As long as the water is forced through the filter, what comes out the other end, by default, just dummy caveman technology, has got to be good. Yes, it can have a virus in it, but if you're out in the woods, away from civilization, the chances of getting a virus are pretty close to zero. Uh, if you're in town, I definitely want to use some chemicals in my water, but out in the main woods, you don't have to worry about viruses or heavy metals. So, uh, a regular ceramic filter made by MSR, good solid company you can trust, you're in pretty good shape. If you use their equipment, maintain it, and use it the way they tell you to, you're in good shape. And it's easy to understand because it's dead simple. Now this came with a lot of instructions and a lot of explanations and lab tests on how it works. Now, I graduated high school. I've got a fairly high IQ, but I don't understand how this works. It's got to do with chemicals and negatives and positives and things being attracted. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It probably works great. And I'm not saying that I would ever get sick using it, because I probably wouldn't. What I am saying is, that this technology is too difficult for my little pre-p brain to understand. 
I don't understand how it works. It seems to be fairly complicated. And because of that, I can just shoot off a dozen questions here that would depend on how they were